During the April 1, 2025 meeting of the Federation Council Committee on Economic Policy, the chairman of the committee, Andrei Kutipov, underscored the necessity of establishing specific objectives and tangible strategies for the development of domestic aircraft manufacturing. The senators supported this initiative and insisted on the exclusive development of Russian technologies and products, excluding any foreign components. Kutupov spoke to Gennady Abramenkov, the deputy head of the Ministry of Industry and Trade, saying he was willing to be patient and highlighting that creating modern aviation engines, like the upgraded HOT section of the PD-8, PD-14, and PD-35, is very important right now. Gennady Abramenkov noted that an experienced team of specialists is currently working on the development of a future aircraft. The requirements for the airliner and the necessary engine thrust are formulated with the participation of MinPromTorg and major customers. The first phase included the development of a technology demonstrator, PD-35, that has already successfully completed gas generator tests, a critical component of the new engine. The new engines will have a thrust ranging from 26 to 35 tons, allowing for a modular design that facilitates the replacement of individual engine modules. This will substantially increase maintainability and reduce operating expenses. At present, the exact specifications for a new wide-body airliner are in the process of being finalized. Abramenkov asserts that development must consider the requirements of both civil and state aviation, as well as military requirements. The aircraft's exterior design and the definition of engine propulsion parameters for optimal operation under various operating conditions are still being worked on in collaboration with customers. Anton Alikhanov, the Minister of Industry and Trade of Russia, spoke about the strategic importance of the Il-96 family of aircraft, particularly the Il-96-400M model, in maintaining the nation's transport connectivity and the replacement of foreign equivalents on the domestic market. He emphasized the importance of cargo logistics and passenger air routes, for which these aircraft are essential components. November 2023 marked the inaugural flight of the Il-96-400M long-range airliner prototype. This event represented a major breakthrough in Russia's capabilities in the development of wide-body aircraft. However, experts continue to view the prospects of serial production of the Il-96-400M with skepticism. The bulk production of the Il-96-300 and Il-96-400M models is not mentioned in official documents, including the third version of Russia's aviation development program until 2030. The COVID-19 pandemic's significant impact on large-scale production plans and the absence of airline orders are responsible for this delay. Denis Mantarov, the deputy prime minister and head of MinPromTorg, announced in December 2023 that the Il-96-400M would be manufactured mainly for governmental customers and transporting cargo. One of these is the special flight unit, Rossiya and plans are underway to assemble two such aircraft. The Il-96-400M is intended to be produced in limited quantities as a special aircraft, rather than as a serial product, as confirmed by the Rostec Corporation. The state program anticipates the creation of a new wide-body long-haul aircraft model after 2030. The optimal engine thrust for passenger transportation is a critical component of this procedure. The options under consideration are 26, 35, or 38 tons. Re-engineering the new aircraft with two new generation PD-35 engines may improve the competitiveness of domestic aircraft in the long-haul air transport segment, provided that transport companies express interest. The PD-35 engine is a two-circuit high-bypass turbofan engine that is highly promising, with a launch thrust that ranges from 33 to 40 tons. The United Engine Corporation, UEC, is collaborating with UEC Saturn to develop it. The principal manufacturer is JSC EC Perm Motors, while the lead developer is JSC UEC Aviad Vigadel. The PD-35 project began its development in the summer of 2016 
and reached its full readiness by late 2017. The engine's gas turbine draws its base from the PD-14 engine, currently operational on the MC-21 medium-haul airliner. However, an additional compressor high-pressure stage has been incorporated. Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin announced in December 2021 that 44.6 billion rubles would be allocated for the development of this engine. The PD-35 turbofan engine was scheduled for full-scale testing as a technology demonstrator in early 2024. The first test stage was effectively completed by the demonstrator, which confirmed 35 tons of thrust, rendering it the most powerful Russian aviation engine to date. The successful tests show that the chosen technical solutions are solid, which opens the door for creating new high-thrust engines based on this project. However, the timeline for fully adopting the PD-35 has been pushed back by two to three years compared to the original plans due to changes in funding and limited resources being used to increase the production of the PD-14, PD-8, and PS-90A engines. At a high political level, Russian President Vladimir Putin expressed confidence in the project's successful execution. He observed that Alexander Inazemtsev, the deputy general director of UEC, who is responsible for the management of NPK, Perm Motors, is well informed and capable of achieving the objectives for the engine's introduction to industrial production. Russia acknowledges the importance of developing a domestic engine for wide body long haul aircraft that is competitive on the global market, thereby joining the ranks of top manufacturers like General Electric and Rolls-Royce. In conclusion, Russia is currently engaged in the development of its aviation industry, with a particular emphasis on the development of sophisticated engine technologies that will serve as the foundation for new aircraft that can accommodate both civil and military requirements. These endeavors aim to boost domestic aviation technology's global competitiveness and strengthen Russia's sovereignty in aircraft manufacturing. Russia's position in the long-haul passenger and cargo transport sectors will be substantially altered by the anticipated introduction of new models of wide-body airliners equipped with PD-35 engines after 2030, as included in these plans. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.